Hello everyone, I'm Kelvin Fox, back again, and welcome to the fifth video of the Aruba Bots REST API with Python series. In this video, I'll step through another one of the workflows from the Aruba Network's GitHub repository, and I will point out a few details that will help in modifying or writing your own scripts. From the previous videos in the series, we have seen from Derek how to download the Python files from the GitHub repository, how to set up the code editor to view and edit those files, and how to run the basic provisioning workflow. Here I will be going through the device management workflow. In this workflow, we will be changing the password for an operator level user and changing the name of the SNMP server community. First thing to notice is where are we getting our data from? In this case, it is reading from a different YAML file than in the device provisioning workflow. You can find all of the data files in the sample data folder. This file contains a list of the devices it will operate on, where you have to input the IP address of the switch, user and password for the admin user, the operator level user whose password we wish to change, the current SNMP community, and its new name. Coming back to the workflow, we will start by logging into the switch, getting the SNMP communities and printing them to the screen. Here we have the first thing that I wanted to point out. This value, the SNMP server community element, did not just come from anywhere. The name of this value is part of the JSON schema, and it can be found at the HPE networking site where you can download the latest schema. Once downloaded, you can view the file in a HTML format. From here, you can see the request and response formats, which would lead you to see where the SNMP server community element comes from. Returning to our editor, now we can see that for every community found, you would check to see the name of the old community and change it to the name of the new community you have set on the YAML file. If no communities were found, there would be a printout stating this. The second part of the script will be getting all of the users first, then conducting a similar comparison with the users you have chosen and written down on your YAML file, changing their password to a new password. Similarly, this device management user element can be found in the server device management user where you can see the response from the get command and you can further see the details of this element by adding this ending to the URL where you can see all the data necessary to be able to change the password. Returning to our script, after changing the password of that user, there is a quick test by logging in with the new user credentials and then performing a logout. Subsequently, there is a logout of the administrator user. Now, I'm going to run this workflow, logging in with the admin user and password to change this operator level user to a new password, change the demo SNMP community to the new community. I'm going to be using my switch just to show you guys. The passwords are encrypted in this SHA-1 encryption, but you will be able to tell that they're different because of the way the encryption works. And over here you see this SNMP community called demo community. Now we can go back and run the workflow using the admin user and password, we will change this operator's password and change this SNMP community to a, this new name. As we have seen from previous videos, you can run the workflow by right-clicking anywhere on the script and selecting Run the Workflow. We get a successful logout and a process that finished out. We can see it logs in as the administrator according to the sequence in the script. It finds the community. It modifies the name of the community. It finds the user whose password we intend to change. Then it conducts the test by logging in as that user. Then it performs a logout for the operator user and a logout for the admin user. Well, that concludes this video. As always, check out the other videos in the Aruba Bot series. Don't hesitate to post your questions on the Airheads development community site. All of the links to the sites that I've mentioned on this video will be referenced below, and I will see you next time.